All right, welcome. This is Tom from Nightingale Games, and we have a two-player game of Imperial Borders, the Congress of Vienna. And we have two testers here, Crockett 36 and Chris. And they'll each be controlling two nations. One will control Great Britain and Austria, and the other will control Prussia and France. Meanwhile, Spain and Russia are both neutral, and those areas are out of play. So we've set things up a little bit. We've already put out all the ports and forts to expedite play. But we will begin immediately. And we are not going to explain rules unless the players themselves need explanations. Um, I might put some footnotes in the subtitles later. So let's just go ahead and begin. And uh, let's reveal the turn order over here on the left can we see that yep go ahead and flip them prussia. so first player is prussia for the setup only second player is great britain <coughs> france and austria so they will be revealing their setups in turn order and now they are going to plot their setup on the plotting boards so they each control two nations and they must control them independently. So for this game, there won't be an exchange of forces or money. Uh, and Crockett, if you want to show them, a sh just like put it up in front of the camera to show what you've done without him seeing okay. <laughs> every now and then to be like, this is what I'm plotting. Excellent. Um, that way they'll gain a player's perspective. And while you're doing that, I'll just ramble on, uh, talking about some things. And to clarify, three, only three units to be put in each of the territories. That is correct. So during setup, you cannot put more than three units uh, <clears throat> in a single territory, or more than... Um, and uh, I've set up the starting forces over here. They are a little bit asymmetrical in that not everyone starts with the same forces. Each nation starts with one elite unit. For example, Great Britain starts with an elite ship of the line. France starts with an elite cannon. Austria starts with an elite cavalry. And Prussia starts with an elite full infantry. Um, one other restriction is that the capital must contain either a full infantry or a cannon. And so you can see the capitals on the board are marked with the, the colored base underneath in the center there. Uh, Great Britain also happens to have capital ports, uh, which will also have a base underneath them. And each port requires a full infantry. Each um, capital, capital territory. Land each territory. Uh, only the capital requires either a cannon or a full yeah. infantry. Otherwise, the only restriction is three per, and that includes their annexed territories. So, um, Great Britain starts with Hanover in control, and Prussia starts with Westphalia. You can see the flags here and Austria starts with Tyrol and France starts with Corsica controlled so they each control one annexed territory and typically in a game there's stages such that the beginning things are somewhat friendly and it's more about quickly taking over annexing as many independent territories as possible um, here we have the prestige chart with the four nations and this will be a pegboard. All of the pieces you see here are prototypes so this is not the final version. So these are all 3D printed and handmade prototypes. Um, we'll be at Gen Con this year in August and uh, here's the metal chart which we'll get to later on. <coughs> You can see the um, metals up in the corner there, over by Russia. We've put some damage tokens, elite flags, and arrows in that supply bin 
along the top by Sweden and Norway. We are using Spain since it's out of play as the bank. So there's gold, which are worth one, and chests, which are worth five. We also have the annex tokens and hotspots supply just sort of dumped in uh, Spain for the time being. There's also uh, each nation has their own little treasury tray here down at the bottom. Um, and we have Britain and Austria, France and Prussia. We'll talk more about that when they're ready. So you guys, uh, that's we have the battle board in the distance over there. And uh, we have, we'll be using the mini battle board as well for smaller cases, which can be placed on the map to quickly resolve minor, minor battles. Um, the supply of units is off on another table. And each of these planning boards has a reference on the inside flap, which tells you the uh, how many units of what kind you start the game with. And I'm indicating only the number of units going into each Right, turn. so you're only putting dots down. Dots or numbers? Just dots. Uh, or you can just be like dot, dot, dot. Oh, whoops. Um, it's all right to put numbers as well, if you that. So Prussia is the first to reveal. He'll uh, pass it over to the opponent and set up their units. We might need to hand him some of the forces there to help him out. Um, I can give a plug for the command staff. I oh, yeah, the command staff. In your vessel, so These staves were uh, designed for war room, but they could come in handy for this game as well. They have a plastic head which snaps on <coughs> two to a box. Oops. Sell them on our website. You mm -hmm. can shuffle pieces around like that. I would gladly. You can... Uh, Whack your enemy as well. All right, uh, Prussia is set up. So Prussia is set up. Next up is Great Britain. Uh, so you can yes. hand three there. Sorry. Is hand your sure planning sure. map over. So that's third here. Yeah, I'm sorry. So that's that's how it is. That's how it is. All right. He's just checking to make sure um, Crockett's not a dirty cheat. That's right. All right. All right. So Great Britain is up next for the setup. <clears throat> All right. Am I supposed to put dots or the yeah dots? Yeah, dots. Just enemies. for how many units, and then you decide exactly which type in the moment as you are placing them. Um, so that that way, turn order is relevant. And uh, Britain is unusual in that they are not on the main continent. They do have an annexed territory, Hanover. Um, you may know the history of the Hanover Kings, but uh, uh, Britain has not chosen to reinforce that with two enemies on both sides. Alright. <clears throat> this is the initial setup, by the way, right here at the top. Next up is France. Nice. Okay, right there. Three. Okay. And uh, let's see, I need the pieces. Okay. So this is uh, definitely one goes there. And the ships go down here. That goes there. This goes here. Uh, right here. And I believe it's one, two, and three in the center, and one, two, and three in Normandy. Brittany, Normandy. Hold on, Austria. All right, thank you, sir. That looks like three in Bohemian Rhapsody. I will have that three. Three. And 
And Tyrol, you had some? And then we're starting the game, and it's the refs are on his side. We, uh, it's round one, so this won't be a push pin, this will be a proper peg. Um, and the first, the phases of the game are summarized down here in the, in the corner. And, um, also they are summarized on the reference charts. But the first step is to gain their income, and I've already tallied that up down here and so Britain will have 19 according to the setup that's specified uh, Austria has 11 France has 11 and Prussia has 16 so that is all gathered to the capital which is uh, represented by these treasury trays so now they are plotting their first turn's moves, uh, and I can just explain some of how movement works, in that all land units can move up to two spaces, and that includes the mountains I was speaking about earlier. Cavalry have a bonus move that does not need to be plotted, which allows them to go one additional space. Now, they don't have to move at all in order to engage that bonus, but the bonus must be their last movement. Uh, then there are the ships, both of which can move up to six spaces. Entering a port is a, counts as a space. They cannot enter any of the neutral regions, which are off limits. Uh, ships may carry up to two units each. Uh, unless, however, half infantry are considered half a unit, so they could carry up to four half infantry. Um, you can move before getting onto a ship as part of your orders, but you cannot move after getting off of a ship, nor can the ship move further if it unloads cargo. So it can move before picking up cargo, as the land units can move before being cargo, but af the act of unloading ends your turn for that particular unit. And as far as battles go, you can battle before you move or after you move, but not interspersed amongst other movements or battles. So in this first Round, they'll be trying to annex as many territories as possible because that increases their income and it will also give them points on the metal chart. And the game is won by a combination of prestige points, which are tracked on this, as well as the end game state, so which is a combination of the territories that they control at the end of the game and the number of elite forces that they have are each worth a point. So it's their military might, their territory possessions, and the prestige gained throughout the game, slowly each round. Okay, so um, now if everyone's plotted their orders, we are bidding. Uh, you can leave uh, Russia and Spain face up sideways. So, um, now we'll be bidding for turn order, and what I want you to do is put your treasury trays here and here to indicate left and right, and you're going to take an amount for your left hand, and that will be the bid for the one on the left, and then take an amount for your right hand, and that will be the one on the right. And then you reveal them, and that indicates which is voted, you know, mm -hmm. bidding for which. <coughs> okay. So, um, and if you are not wanting to reveal what you're bidding, you would put the gold somewhere else. Okay. Like you would flip those upside down. You, know, like you could dump it out and just do that, because it'll be tinted on the back. But for now, just you can uh, okay. reveal. So go ahead and hold your fist to the center so they can see your fist. Okay. And, and then reveal. Reveal. All right. Nobody bids anything. Okay, that's very common for the first turn of the game. 
I'll take those back. So. Money <coughs> is a precious resource. All right, not to give them a shot. And so that means uh, it's a random turn order if they are all tied. And so he's going to settle the cards right now and just deal them out face up right. um, in turn order. All right, here we go, face up. Austria. Great Britain. Uh -huh. Prussia. France. Okay, so let's go ahead and execute Austria's movements. He'll hand the board over to his enemy who verifies his orders, and then uh, he can go ahead and move them. If you need one, me to move anything, let me know. One, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, my frigate. I'm going to move these three up. Three half infantry armies up north, and then these three units are entering Bavaria, and I believe that is it. That is it. Is that correct, sir? So then we oh, just let me see. Yeah, sure. indicate where there's a possible, uh, he has the potential to annex. So I'll be putting a and they'll be putting an annex token down where that's possible, and that the annex is its own annex. phase, which will be done after everybody's moved and battled. But we put it down as a reminder sure? that it will become possible. So next up is Britain. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Real quick. A lot of movement into Denmark. Yeah. So I'm gonna go. <clears throat> uh, at least load one, two, three, four. Well, they're going into the back. So when you claim a port, you claim it immediately. So you can fish a um, port token out of your supply and place it in the port in which you landed. Um, so there is no uh, roll needed to claim the ports. And yeah, the this one you can put down on the, the round port for the round token. Oh, yeah. And then he's gone ahead and unloaded those two units, which would then uh, also need an annex token. And he can do that later. And then he continues on. Boom, boom. One, two, three. He's taking the other port. And he really wants Denmark, it looks like. And then other movements. And uh, the other movements, I believe, is... The Scots are going down to the south. <clears throat> they are joining. So they, they crossed a mountain there in the highlands. So oh, were they able yeah. to do that? Negative. So if you made the error, they, that move is canceled entirely. Because they get the mo Black Mountains cost one to enter? Yes. So if you had them ordered to go all the way to England, that would be an error. Beautiful. And the order is canceled. So grab the. So make sure that this is how important grab orders it. writing that is down. I just is, I yeah. want to really point this out because I've always seen it. This is it's a vital piece of this game. Yes, they're, they're not the biggest hills, but there there are some hills up in the Highlands that they are called the Highlands. And, and I'm paying the price as I should for mismanagement of my armies. Now, did the blue arrows go anywhere right now? Uh, yes. Yeah, so you, you could put blue arrows on everything that has moved and. These are an optional feature that is suggested, just especially for complicated moves where you're keeping track of who has moved and who hasn't. For this first turn, uh, the movements are fairly simple. Um, here, I'll put one on the ship over here. Um, and they generally point to the unit that moved. I don't know what moved over here, Chris. Just that. That's it. Just so that. They, they should point to the units that moved, not to where they are going to. Awesome. Um, All right. What's up next? Can you put this arrow pressure. back? <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Let's see what happens here. Crush has got the magic going. He's got the magic going. Okay, I'll do the ship first, which ends up going one, and then two, and then three, and then into port. I believe it's Cherbourg. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, we have the. Um, 
going in an invasion into the homeland, supported by an uh, cavalry from here. The advantage I have here is that I'll have combined arms. Um, is that what you call it? Combined, combined arms. Yeah, a triad. Yeah, it's a triad. Yeah, it's, tri a triad. it's combined called combined arms. arms. Yes. Okay. Uh, there's some um, annex tokens for you. Okay. Also, battle markers, right? Uh, if you are, you can put a hotspot down if you want. Um, hotspot, yeah. If, are they in that territory? They are in that territory. Yeah, go ahead and push them in. Oh, so you are not annexing. Oh, no, no. I'm not annexing. Okay. I'm sure. You told us to go to war. You told us to fight. I did. I said make this exciting. I am going to make this exciting. Oh, you, went through, you can go through an unannexed territory? Yes. Yep. Okay, so then uh, two of these go to Württemberg, and that's where I'm going to attempt to annex that. And then... Uh, let's see. Two of these went to Hanover to eliminate Hanover, mm. and one went to. Crockett is being aggressive as Mecklenburg. <clears throat> and one went to Mecklenburg, and then one went to Suwalski. Suwalski, um, yes. And Mazovia. I think that looks right. Does okay, look right here's too? a couple more uh, annex tokens for you. Uh, and then a conflict token for Hanover. And now uh, you will resolve your battles on your turn before France goes. So is this, this is wrong, right? No, he's annexing that. Oh, he's annexing. Okay. So you could put the arrows out if you want. Um, okay. Put the arrows, out. arrows out. Okay, so arrows out toward the group is, I think, the yes, language. Yes, pointing to the group that is, group. which it affects. The group. Um, and, you know, expert players might not need these arrows, but for demonstration purposes, they are handy. And for just keeping track. Newer so like yeah. we players sometimes. Okay, so we, okay, we so you have battle. two battles. And uh, <coughs> let's use... Oh, wait a minute. Fran did France already move? No, to? he has to do his battles on his turn. So France doesn't move until he resolves his battles. Roger. Okay. It's side. Oh, and just hook the fort on it. And the fort and the two units. It. Yeah, don't, don't worry about the dice on the floor. We've got plenty okay. of dice. All right. And you get the black dice, uh, and I get the two white ones. Wake up the uh, audience. There we go. That was exciting. Okay. So I'm attacking with two white dice. And, well, first you must just take your stance. Oh, the stance. Mark. So right. this is Prussia attacking, okay. have, and you have a stance as well. Um, and so for each battle round, you will be deciding a stance which affects how the bar results. If you choose the red side, there will be hits. If you choose the blue side, then you are blocking incoming hits of bar results. Or no, right. any time, of any hit. I'm going to be defensive the first time. <clears throat> and so that's a minor port, so you'll be rolling one black die, and you are not rolling any die, because in the first battle oh, round, it's the barrage phase. Barrage. Yeah, go ahead. So, you can double Two hits. Hit. So, he yeah. just rolled a very rare double hit and killed both of the enemy in one shot, which... Yikes. It's like uh, a one in six chance there. And so he will put it in into to Britain's seven casual seven chance. I'm not sure that's yeah. So that's right. that was um, now. This was not a major victory um, because these are not these are only worth eight, and so plus he doesn't have a unit to put a pennant on anyway. So all right. Um, that was very significantly trounced. Uh, was put, those, uh, yes, you could put those down, although it's not going to matter because those aren't needed because he did it on his turn. It would only matter if your units were lost and you were upcoming, so we don't need the tests. Tests. Yes. Medical tents, thank you, we'll, sir. We'll talk about that again when the field hospital tents, when it, uh, it's relevant. I'm just very excited to use them because it's a, it's right. a, a natural evolution. And right. so or, or Randy right. just set up the... Uh, this one stopped recording. I don't know when that happened, but... Uh, <laughs> so I'm recording again. 
Um, <coughs> Randy's setting up the, the, the battle board over there, and um, you will again choose a stance. This time it's Austria versus Prussia. Uh, can you move that staff out of the way a little bit? Sure. Can. Okay, so I'm. Um, there, uh, I also have a triad here. Um, so you get a, a black and two white. <coughs> which is a black and two whites extra. Uh, and that goes into here. The triad bonus is right here. Yes, right here. So, Alrighty. okay. Uh, did uh, so you would get uh, one, one. Yeah, I'm on it. Okay, you got. It? Thank okay. You. Thank you, though. Sure, sure. I'm much obliged, sir. <coughs> and the El Fordo, on the territory fort. Okay. Um, I think we're ready. Um. Oh, this is three. I'm sorry, that's three. Three for the uh, full infantry, two for the charging horse, one for the horse in the back, one for the cannon, and in addition to um, the triad, which is yeah, uh, yeah. one, it must be right here. That's um, correct, one, but you don't need to put the white dates out for the first phase because it's the barrage only. Ah, gotcha. Okay. All right. So the. You will be rolling two dice for your fort, for your major fort, and that looks to be it. Two dice. And he'll be rolling. Um, no hits. Okay, no and hits. you are rolling for your cannon. Just the one. Your, well, what about your oh. triad? Oh, my triad. Oh, excellent. Okay. <coughs> oh. And your stance? I had that up. Oh, did we do our stances? I did have a few stances. Shucks, I didn't do a stance. Uh, okay. Uh, so, many, too. so I didn't do stance. What would be the repercussions of not doing what, what, what would you have done? Uh, I'm going to do aggressive because I want to kill him. Okay. Kill. So that would count as a hit, but it doesn't matter because uh, you, did you roll any hits? Oh, you didn't roll any hits, so it doesn't matter. He gets one hit, so you need a damage marker on your fort there. He gets a hit? Yep, you can take one of those orange bursts from the supply bin there. What blocks the uh, lines? A blo a th another bar. A bar blocks a bar. Yes. Yes. Oh, also no, no, right. a hit oh. too. That's right. uh, yeah. Yep. Okay, now we can sign the whites. And so now it's the second round of battle. And I would keep the, the dice in the dark area so it's easier to gather when you have to roll them rather than immediately beside them. Okay, uh, so I'm seeing uh, three for the full, two for the forward. Um, yep. And then one for the uh, horse in the back, one black, and then the triad. Okay? Yes, and where is your elite infantry? Uh, my elite infantry is over here. Okay, so he's not involved. No, not involved. This one. So now everything <coughs> rolls, in, in black and white, second round of battle. You okay. Can roll at the same time. Did you already roll? I have not. Okay. Okay, and then you assign your hits based on the color. Mine so is remove a, the misses. Mine is a complete width. So red, red hits this rear zone, yep. which I... That, like. Those are yours. Yep. I was just doing... Are I you, moved my, uh, you know, my calories obviously in the front lap, so no hits. No, uh, I hold, hold on, hold on. Um, well, this is what you rolled, so yes. these are affecting him. So put put the red die in the back. Yep. And put the those go according to the hierarchy, so they will affect the infantry first. And he's defensive. Ah, right. So those are blocking hits. When I only have one bar. So can you place your dice next to the targets that they hit? So I would have to take the hit at the fort. Um, <coughs> not not necessarily. The red dice could. Well, yes, you would. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. The red dice can the be used for the fort. Yes. Ah. So, Woo. Thank you. Okay, so, so one red, of these red dice, and then it's, of course it's a two-level fort. This so you need two. Oh, it's already damaged though. So yes, one, and then put that those other hits 
in units. Oh, those are all, including that other red die that's next to the. Okay, so those are all misses, but you can get count your yeah, blue die. Hit. It will affect the half infantry. It goes by hierarchy. So this guy is dead, and. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, I gotta do my blocks. This, oh, you're right. Defense. So that cancels ah, this that's hit right. and yeah. that hit. So he can't, he blocked both of your hits. All right, and he gets one. Yes. Okay. All right. And so <coughs> you can just tip it over to the side for now. Tip over to the side. Okay, so everything rolls um, again. So, yes, there's the third and final round. But my trap, but my... Don't forget to choose your stance. But my, uh, what you call it, is no longer a triad. Well, could I have chosen his cavalry for a hit? No, I, I have no cavalry. Because yeah. that's what I would have chosen. You, you, you do not get to choose that, because it must go by the hierarchy. Oh, that's right, that. Mm. Forgive me, Tom, and the audience. Okay, I am going to adjust the... the I'm going to adjust this... Uh, what does he have? Well, um, you will still have um, a triad. I know. I'm going to. Whether it's in the front or the rear. I'm going to go back here. Yeah. Could be, now, just ask this, not that he's going to do it, but he could have the option to hold and not attack. Right. Correct? Yes. He is the act of power, so he yep. can okay. withdraw. But you need to set your battle stances. Battle stance yep. is fine. Minus <coughs> what's, what's your battle stance? It's defense. Okay. Um, so you should be rolling uh, five dice plus the plus a black. Yeah. Four, five. Uh, no, um, one black die because he's damaged. Damaged. <coughs> and then four. five <coughs> white dice. Oh, that's right. One, two, three, four, five. <coughs> the cavalry rolls two in the front. Okay, so it looks like <coughs> two bars. You block two incoming hits. Okay, I'm going to assign mine first. Yeah, the <laughs> active power usually assigns theirs first. Okay, um, I have to destroy the forts. And then I would be doing <coughs> one, two, uh, three, four, right? That is correct. But two of those are blocked by his bar dice. So he would... Block the block that, and then the one of the ones against the infantry. So so just pull the dice out that are not affected. Now I assign my one hit. Yes. It has to be to the front row. Yeah. Change out, I think. Make yeah, change front. for the battle. Okay, so that was the third round of battle. Um, so it was. There was not a winner, so it remains contested. So I'm going to take the nulls off. So there is no elite pennant assigned. And the hand me the uh, casualties, and I'll put them in the treasuries. One, two, three. So this is a casualty. That's a casualty. Nope. It is it? No. You can hand me the. Um, the, oh yeah. The uh, mark. Yeah, that no, that stays with the fort till the end of the round. Till you pay to repair it. But I'll need another one to indicate that it, there was a hit. So you'll put a matching one over here. And oh yes. So that was him. He did the damage, and it was Prussia that did the killing. This is back in the border, right? Yes. And you only have one left? So. Yeah. <coughs> I thought you had two. Okay. I might have. Oh, because of the double hit. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you blocked it. Okay, yeah. Um, now it would be France's turn. France. 